welcome to another video in this system of um, equations uh, we want to solve uh, for x minus 2 with x given that x to the power of 2 minus 16 with x equals to 2 so let's see what we build of the value of x minus 2 with x uh, to start with uh, given that x raised to the power of 2, if I transfer 16 with x to the other side, so this equals to 12 plus 16 root x. And getting to this stage, I'm going to start this, but oh wow. So some might think that, okay, where will I go? So here is the tip. So note that, let's say you have the root of uh, x plus 1. So if I square this, uh, the expansion of this becomes x plus 2 root x plus 1. But if you try to apply this, uh, you might not get what I'm looking, which is x minus 2 root x. So I'll just uh, a tip. Okay, let's see the second one. Let's say you have root x plus 2. Uh, if I square this as well, this equals to x plus 4 root x plus 4. And the second one is what I'm going to use to get x minus 2 root x, uh, the value of it. And from the equation I start above, let's say I decided to add uh, 4x plus 4 to that equation. So I mean adding it to both sides. So just an assumption. So uh, we have x squared plus. So adding 4x plus 4 to others to both sides. So we have 4x plus 4 and equals to. So let's see the other side just to balance the two sides. We have 12 plus 16 root x. So plus 4x plus 4. So the two sides have been balanced, so which uh, we can still cancel the two sides. But fortunately, x squared plus 4x plus 4 is giving us x plus 2 always to the power of 2 equals 2. While for this one, so if I try to do the rearrangement and I add the constant together, so starting with 4x plus 16 root x plus uh, 12 plus 4 is 16 so then uh, something is common here or let's say something is factorizable so which is the 4 by taking out 4 from here we have 4 bracket we are left with x plus 4 with x plus 4 we bracket this and fortunately again x plus 4 root x plus 4 is equivalent to root x plus 2 all raised to the power of 2. And instead of writing x plus 4 root x plus 4, we replace it with root x plus 2 square. Then we have from the left hand side x plus 2 square equals to, then we have 4, uh, which is 2 raised to the power 2, bracket, then we have root x plus 2 all raised to the power of 2. And according to the rules of indices, so these two raised to the power 2 and bracket x uh, with x plus 2 or raised to the power 2 can be working under one square. Then we are going to have, uh, instead of separate, we have two bracket root x plus 2. Then all of them will be working under one square. So this is the product power of indices. And let's take the square root of both sides just to cancel the square. And we know that when we are taking the square root of the right hand side, so we introduce plus or minus, and we are going to have 2 bracket root x plus 2 raised to the power of 2. And if square and square root cancel each other, we are going to have. Uh, this side to be x plus 2 equals to plus or minus 
we have two bracket root x plus two. And at this stage, this can take either positive or negative. So for the positive side, we have x plus two equals to two root x plus two brackets, or we have x plus two equals to minus two bracket root x plus two. And what we are asked to calculate is x minus two root x. So we are looking for the values, but at the junction of where we have the separate of these two, so looking at the second, uh, which is negative, it will not be equal. So which means I don't need this. And let's try the first one if it's going to be equal. So we have x plus two equals to by open the parentheses, we have two root x plus four. And by rearranging this, or let's say I subtract two from both sides, these two cancelled, and we have x equals to two root x plus two. Again, let's subtract two root x from both sides. Then we are going to have uh, negative two root x from both sides. These two we cancelled, and on the left hand side we have x minus two root x equals to two. Wow. So with all this trace, we later got two. So this is how to solve this problem. Uh, therefore, x minus two root x equals to two as our question. Uh, this is how the problem should be solved. I hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget the steps I used. Uh, subscribe to this channel and like this video. Never stop learning.